Hello everybody. Um, this video is in response to a student request because um, uh, the student found it helpful and thought everyone might like to see um, a solution strategy. So here's a student who um, was doing tutorial 9 and had some convergence issues with an adsorber. So basically um, you have a gas stream here, some kind of solvent here, and the only thing we're trying to do at this stage is just trying to simulate this radfrac column. So just taking a look, um, Basically, I'm gonna. The column has 20 stages, no condenser reboiler, and everything else is pretty standard. Um, feeding into the vapor, that kind of thing. Um, not even looking at pressure drop. Okay, and so when you run the column, or you run the simulation, basically it runs, and then that particular block does not converge. Okay, so you see that kind of thing. The first thing to do is you always want to check the control panel. Okay, so when you're debugging something, I hit F7 here. Um, you can hit that button as well. Okay, start at the, basically find where the first error is, and then that's usually the root cause. Okay, so here's um, the output. You can start to see all the errors, and you say, okay, well, B12, B12 is the adsorber, or absorber, um, and you can say, okay, is it B12 that's the problem, or is it something upstream? Okay, and you say, well, I have no errors upstream from the beginning of my calculations, and there's no loops or anything, so it's pretty much this. Okay, the second thing is to say, is this starting to converge? Okay, is the problem, I just don't have enough convergence loop iterations, okay? So 25 is the default. Now, if I look at this, it doesn't come down very quickly. And you want to get, the, you know, things are heading toward 1, then you're doing all right. So there's a lot of things I can do to try to see how this can this can go. Um, so this is really the first error that you want to see, that it didn't converge. This is garbage. I would ignore this completely. Following stage is dried up. This is the worst error in Aspen history. Um, this doesn't actually mean anything. It just means that the guess and check gave up when it had neg negative values for one of these numbers, which is impossible. It's just a really poor um, error message. Okay, so you just really should ignore that. Okay, so a couple of ways to troubleshoot this block. I'm just going to go ahead and close all these other ones out because these are just distractions for us. Um, again, working just with the student copy. Thank you for letting me use this example. Okay, so if I go back here, there's a lot of ways I can try to improve this. So one of the first things is if I go to convergence and convergence, um, you can see the maximum iterations are 25. Um, I'm just going to bump this up. 200 is a little high sometimes. But sometimes you just want to do that first and just eliminate the problem being I didn't have enough guesses and checks. Okay, so it did three more runs and it still had a problem. Okay, so it wasn't just a matter of having enough guesses. Something else I like to do is I shift F5, so I reinitialize. Okay, um, and th what that does is that resets all of your guesses to zeros. Because when I hit the F5 button, it actually used my 25th result from before, which is really bad. So I'm using bad guesses to do more new guesses, and that's not good. So reinitializing can be very helpful um, from if you have it run into trouble. So I'm going to run it again and see what happens. Um, okay, and no, it didn't work. It went to 28, and it stopped. So we're not getting anywhere. Okay, so what I would do now is I would go, and my natural choice... Um, in most distillation cases, I just start messing with these. Okay, these are just different ways of guessing and checking. And I'm going to reinitialize and I'm going to run it again and see what happens. Um, and no. Okay, this one's kind of frustrating actually because this is getting really close. All right, the fact that I got into the 30s means I'm actually not too far away from the real answer, but it's still not converging. So, um, that's no good. So it means I'm close, um, but it still doesn't do it. So I'm going to try another one. Okay, so I'm just going to change it. I'm going to reinitialize here. All right, if I do this, maybe this one will work. Um, and I just kind of go down the list. And no, again, it was still close. And these had these weird mass, it's just not converging. converging okay. Um, it is very close, though. So both of those, that's what I mean. These often work well but it's still not doing it. I'm going to try some of these other ones here. Azeotropic. Yeah, this is real garbage here. So these are huge numbers. Nowhere near close. Cryogenic. Let's try cryogenic. Nope, I forgot to reinitialize. Let me try that. Make sure that wasn't a problem. Um, 
and no, it still didn't work. Okay, don't worry about dried up. That has no meaning. It's just you can see it started heading the right direction, then it quickly went the wrong way, and it just gave up. Okay, so none of these will work. Um, now, you can actually go into the advanced section of your convergence al um, algorithm, and you can start messing with this stuff. Okay, now stand like this kind of stuff you can start playing with. I don't like to do it um, in most cases unless you really know what you're doing. The only one that you ever really need to look at is this one here. So if you're making an absorber, that means no reboiler, no condenser, um, basically you switch that to yes. And what that will do is that will completely change how it affects the standard method here. In fact, I think if I change this, it should give me an error. Yeah, it says you can't use absorber yes unless you're on standard mode. Okay, so we're going to stay in standard mode. So it's just, it's honestly, it kind of sucks. I would rather have one that says standard dash absorption. That That's a better way to think of it. Okay, but I'm going to try this one. I'm going to shift F5 because I want to start from zero. Okay, and then I'm going to hit F5 now. And, um, ah, see this one worked. Here we go. It took 19 chances, um, but it, it kind of went the wrong way at first, and then it recovered somehow, and it got something. So once it's below one, now it's converged. Okay, now this is awesome. So that's why it has an absorber mode, and it can be really hard to find because it's buried in that con um, advanced section here. And there's a lot of other things you can play with, and this is not something I don't think you want to mess with unless you really know what you're doing, and you need to go through the documentation because they're intentionally coded here to discourage you from messing with it. All right, because you can just really get yourself in trouble. Okay, so that's great, and then you're done. Now, what I would like to do, a lot of times, uh, what's, this was really hard to converge, so I like to go to the estimates section of the convergence, and I click generate estimates. Okay, and it's going to do stuff, and basically what it does is it copies all the results from your run, okay, into the temperature guesses, the flow guesses, Okay, it sort of saves all of your results here. Here's liquid phase mole fractions um, once it comes up, okay? And what's cool is I'm going to completely reinitialize now, Shift F5. And instead of starting from zero, it's going to start from those guesses. And those guesses should be pretty much dead on, so it should really converge. Yeah, look at that, in exactly one shot. So because I basically gave it the answer, it guessed those, and it checked, oh, wow, those are perfect. Okay, so it didn't have to do any more iterations. All right, and that's awesome because that means when you reinitialize, you have a great starting point. So I can do things now. I haven't actually tried this, but now I'm gonna, let's say I'm going to increase my solvent flow rate. Okay, it doesn't really matter. It was 45. Let's make it 60. I don't know. Okay, so when I run this flow sheet again, I have a, I'm going to have a new run, but if I start from the estimates, okay, it actually was able to converge in just one shot because those were really, really good. Um, guesses. So it only had to rerun that one block. Okay, and I can, then you can kind of vary it from there. Let's say make it like 100, and uh, then I can do that. And I think you can just get the idea that now I have those estimates in place, the convergence is really fast. Look at that. It's one shot. It only has to make one change, and then it, then it works. So that's great. Um, it has four inner loop iterations. Okay, so that means it's, it is doing some guessing and checking. It's not perfect, but um, yeah, I mean, that's amazing. So there you go. Keep that in mind. I mean, that's for the absorber. Now, if you have a regular distillation column, we don't have any problems with this one. Standard usually works, but again, one of the key things is to start moving into this territory. And I find this one to be very good whenever standard fails, so that's usually where I try my second thing. Otherwise, just go down the list. Okay, so hopefully those convergence tips can help you for absorbers and distillation columns going forward in the future.